What's up YouTube and I'm back with another trailer reaction and my Star Wars people of the channel uh, Welcome back obviously I have, of course and just me this time uh, Super excited obviously to cover the Andor the actual like full trailer I'm guessing uh, me and uh, Andre did uh, my buddy Andre of course uh, we did react to the teaser trailer uh, right before we went to Star Wars Celebration So it'll be down in the description interested in watching that we've covered the book of Boba Fett uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and all that good stuff so yeah, uh, really excited to check out this trailer. I've tried to stay away from spoilers and stuff like that. I've been kind of busy this week, so uh, I seen some things, you know, like a couple like little like pictures and stuff um, pop up in front of my face, which I didn't want to freaking see. Um, but uh, sometimes you can't avoid, I guess. Um, but I wanted to save it for the reaction, and yeah, finally can't wait to watch this, take it in. Uh, it was a very cool feeling, obviously in the teaser trailer. I've been looking for a series for so long just because of the time period it's set, right? Like right before friggin' a new hope pretty much and i think oh this one is not as close to rogue one which is right before that um it's a little a little bit farther back but uh it's a time period we don't really know too much in star wars so i'm excited to check this out uh can't wait to listen to the trailer and everything um like i said like the the first trailer was very like very dark ominous and that's what i expected to be the empire is in control so uh and we got to see a little bit of that in obi-wan kenobi but this is fast forward quite a bit um and uh yeah, that's uh, enough of me talking. I want to get into the reaction, and uh, yeah, we got two minutes, twenty-four seconds. Already it's ominous. Oh my God, Star Destroyer! Jeez. Excuse me, goosebumps. To now. steal from the Empire. You just walk in like you belong. They're so Ooh. proud of themselves. So fat and satisfied. Hmm. They can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. <laughs> Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. Looks like Jelly Dice is all in order, man. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? <sighs> I need all the heroes I can get. Oh my god. For the greater good. Call it what you will. It's cool. Yes, he's back. Son Guerrero. Yes. It's fermenting out there, son. Pockets of fermenting. You're in my net. Oof. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. Oh my. Oh my god! Thinks I'm an irritation. So good. There's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? This is what revolution looks like. I'm tired of losing. Nah, man, this is so good, bro. So good, man. Man, this is what I want to see, dude. That was incredible, dude. Oh my god. Made me a little emotional there, damn. Holy shit, bro. Okay. Um, man, that was fantastic. Um, I think, like, what is worth noting is, th this didn't really have that much of, obviously, Diego Luna as Cassian Andor. Like, I didn't really, like, we got to see a lot. Like, you know what I mean? Saw Guerrero's back. I totally forgot about that. Like, you know, I love them in Rogue One. Uh, happy to see him back. Obviously, I forget the actor's name, but just banger actor. Like, he can act, dude. Like, he's amazing. Uh, and uh, I love Diego Luna and stuff like that. And, and not only just like that, like, just seeing, obviously, more of the other characters, seeing what we're going to see this gives me the star wars i wanted to see okay when we when obviously we heard we get all these shows like i was really excited for this one in particular just because of this time period and like and kind of the rebellion obviously what we want to see and i i like now we can finally see how the rebellion started right like they were saying kind of in the text and, and you kind of see the struggles how hard it truly was we, we thought it was hard obviously we've seen the originals and stuff like that we read some of the comics but now you're seeing like 
the struggle that is going on, like where the Empire's on top completely at that time. And you just see how they're the big juggernaut, you know what I mean? They're like the regime and like and they're trying to rebel and obviously as they do that they have their struggles and, and you know and you see obviously the conflict within and I think we've seen a little bit of Coruscant there. Um, so much so much cool landscapes, like we're going to different planets, enough of Tatooine. Me and the guys have been joking around with that for a while. Like we're sick of Tatooine. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like I love Tatooine, but like, I'm sick of it, man. I wanna see more of the planet. Star Wars is not just Tatooine. And this is where we're gonna get a lot of it. I cannot wait. I was really bummed out, obviously it got delayed. I found out about that um, a week or two ago. Um, but at least we're getting three episodes, but a month later, obviously. Um, but uh, I'm I was, I was, I'm gonna stay excited for it, of course. Uh, there's lots of things to watch in the meantime, but um, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a crazy Star Wars fall. Um, but even uh, what else uh, with the trailer? Like, there's just so much going on. Like I said, um, you know what I mean. It showed a lot like of other storylines and stuff, and I think now uh, we kind of see and then, like and that darkness is still there. Like I was saying, like it feels very ominous. You know what I mean, and uh, similar. A little bit was that of that was in Obi Wan Kenobi, obviously. Uh, when if you watched it, obviously you you can see how it felt like you know like you, you have to feel like as if it was in the prequel trilogy, right? Like it has to feel like they're you're almost like alone and like in uh, in the galaxy, right? So yeah, uh, cannot wait for this show. In terms of a trailer rating, man, I'm gonna give that nine out of ten, man. That was really good, dude. It actually got me a little emotional. I mean, Star Wars does that to me, man. I love I love Star Wars, man. And, you know, um, it's just like, this is what I want, I've wanted to see. And you know what, and the fact that, you know, Andor is finally here and they were saying, I remember they were going to get a bunch of seasons for this show. I don't know if that's true. Um, but I was hearing we are getting at least a few seasons. I heard somebody even said seven seasons, which I don't even like, I think they scaled back or something like that. I think that's a little too much to talk about. Let's see it one at a time first. But um, Diego Luna hopefully kills it as Cassie and Andor. I don't really have any doubts and stuff like that. And... Uh, there's a lot to look forward to, obviously, um, and just seeing how, you know, uh, how that relationship's going to be, obviously, within the Empire and being building up the rebellion um, to what we see, obviously, uh, in A New Hope later, and obviously, well, see into Rogue One, uh, to be more specific, maybe, I guess, um, and stuff like that, and just the beginning as, as a whole. But anyways, guys, enough of me rambling on. Uh, let me know what you thought of the Andor trailer. What do you think about it? Where do you think we're going with the show? Are you more excited now? Then before, you know, has this been one of the shows you've been waiting for the longest in terms of the whole catalog that was announced years ago? Because um, it has been for one of my, obviously Obi-Wan was because Owen's like my favorite actor ever um, and stuff like that. But this was like second. Like I know Ahsoka and Oz, I really want to see that too. But uh, this is a time period I, I want to really want to touch into it. I hope Star Wars, uh, Lucasfilm, Disney, they really tap into the old Republic and stuff like that. And, you know, give us good Star Wars. Obi-Wan ended off pretty good. Uh, it had its issues uh, throughout it, but um, we hope we don't enter those uh, those waters uh, in Andor and stuff like that. So, But anyways, guys, like I said, uh, just let me know what you thought down below and everything. If you enjoyed the reaction here today, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell down below as well. You'll be notified when we do our reaction. It won't be just me when we're doing Andor. It's usually a three-man crew at least. Uh, we're going to be reacting to every episode of Andor probably, so uh, stay tuned for that. Other Star Wars content. Uh, if they do another trailer, I'm not going to react to it. I just don't want to see it uh, because, you know, I want to go in fresh. Um, seeing a teaser, seeing an official trailer, that's it for me. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the channel if you're interested in stuff and you like what you've seen today. But, anyways, guys, I appreciate you all for tuning in to my reaction to the official trailer of Andor. I'll catch you next time. May the Force be with you.